Hello and welcome to my channel where I have tried to provide you the best choices in different fields of life. So I hope you will enjoy your tour with me and grow my vision and let me add more and more exciting knowledge to you. After all you are my best judge and friend. And today in this video I am going to show you something new and latest about the boxing latest marches during April 2017. My heart for you is like space in the heaven that has no end. I hope you like this intro in your own videos. So let's begin. Well obviously as you know that the only boxer in history to win world titles in 8 divisions has agreed to defend his WBO welterweight belt against obscure Australian challenger Jeff Horn. The bout will take place July 2nd at Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane, July 1st in the United States, according to Horn's promoter Duco Events. Pacquiao, 5962, 38 goes, who has long built his rock-solid reputation by daringly moving up in weight and taking on difficult challenges, will clearly be taking a softer touch this time around against the 29-year-old Horn, 1601, 11 goes, who has never fought outside Australia or New Zealand. Top Rank Pacquiao's longtime promoter, has developed a strong business relationship of late with Duco Events, which opened the door for the fight to happen. The two companies currently go promote unbeaten heavyweight to list Joseph Parker of New Zealand. At 38, Pacquiao remains one of the sport's top pound-for-pound -pound rated boxers, which makes the decision to face Horn so frustrating. After losing to Floyd Mayweather in their high-profile 2015 superfight, Pacquiao has rebounded with strong decision wins over Timothy Bradley Jr., in their third meeting last April, and Jesse Vargas, regaining a 147-pound title. Pacquiao and Horn were in talks earlier this year for an April bout which was shelved when Pacquiao and advisor Michael Conch entered talks for a bout with welterweight Amir Khan. In the end, the fight fell apart after an unnamed investment group hoping to stage the bout in the United Arab Emirates was unable to come up with the promised $38 million. While fights against many of the top welterweights in the world remain difficult to make for Pacquiao because of boxing's current political climate and the divide between networks and promoters, an in-house showdown between Pacquiao and top-ranked stablemate Terence Crawford continues to be avoided. The fight would not only be easy to make, it would present boxing fans with a true passing of the torch showdown between the aging legend Pacquiao and the unbeaten junior welterweight champion Crawford, who seems poised for stardom. That's my today video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Goodbye and see you next time.